Tor is one of the most popular and powerful tools for online privacy. It hides your IP address by routing your internet connection via three different relay nodes that are found all across the world. And if you use Tor, you're going to get a greater degree of anonymity. The good news about Tor is that it's open source software that's built using the Firefox engine, which means essentially that you can connect your Trezor hardware wallet to Tor and hide your IP address for free at all times. I know it sounds complicated, I know it sounds like something that cypherpunks would do because I am pretty sure that they do it, but I'm going to show you how it's done in this video and I promise that it doesn't take more than two minutes because Trezor has very useful resources that help you get through this process. So let's get started. All right, so the first step is to go to trezorproject.org and any internet browser that you may have on any operating system from Windows to Linux to Mac OS. Once the page loads, you go to download Tor browser. As you can see, you have options for Windows, for Linux, for Mac OS, and for Android. And in our case, since I use Mint Linux, I'm going to go for Linux. After you have installed Tor, it's time to make a small tweak and add one exception which allows it to connect to the Trezor servers. Now what you have to do is type in the address bar about colon config, as in configure. You're getting a warning here which says that you should proceed with caution, but as long as you follow this guide which is also described in the Trezor wiki, then you're all set and it's all fine. You only add one exception which doesn't destroy the anonymity of Tor. So you click accept risk and continue. And in this search box you type in network dot proxy dot no underscore proxies on and you can see that I got a recommendation for this and I click on it and I have this button which allows me to edit the parameters I press it and I'm supposed to enter a specific address that allows Tor to connect to Trezor it's 127.0.0.1 colon 21325. Now you're good to go. You open wallet.trezor.io in your Tor browser and it's going to ask you to install Trezor Bridge, which is what happens when you deal with a computer that hasn't installed any kind of Trezor device. And after this, it says connect your Trezor to continue. So I have the USB cable plugged in the port. I put it inside the device. It says not connected, so I have to type in my PIN. And look at this, the wallet has loaded. Trezor doesn't know where I'm from. The IP address is essentially a Tor circuit. And if I feel like boosting my anonymity, I can request a new circuit, just in case. If you're dealing with Bitcoin, it's a bad idea to reveal your IP address. So if you can use Tor all the time with your hardware wallet, then you should definitely do it. And I hope that you found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next one.